Hi Cancers and welcome to Intimate Goddess Tarot. My name is Inez and today I'm doing your weekly love readings. Please keep in mind that these are general love readings so it cannot and it will not resonate with all of you. So if it doesn't apply, then let it fly. If it does apply, then I would love to read your comments down below. Also, if you would like to get a personal reading, you can contact me at intimategoddesstarot at gmail.com. Okay, so let's get your reading started. Please tell me about cancers and love. Uh, the month of May 2020. Please tell me about cancers and love. The month of May 2020. Please tell me about cancers and love. The month of May 2020. Please tell me about cancers and love. Okay, cancers. Please tell me about cancers and love. And at the bottom of the deck, Cancer, we have the Page of Cups. Okay, Cancers. Don't start nothing you can't finish. Wow. This is actually a pretty good spread. I have the Ten of Cups and the Sun. I have the moon and the nine of pentacles. I have the ace of cups and the hermit. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Virgo, a Pisces, Cancer, or a Leo. Or any water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or any earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay, and from what it seems like here is that Somebody wants commitment because we got the Ten of Cups and the Sun and this person makes you happy. You could already be in a relationship, but there's something that you don't know. There's something that you don't know about this person. And the person that you're dealing with, this is someone that's very independent and confident. They're on top of their game. You know, they don't need nobody to take care of them because they got it. They don't, you know, they're on top of their shit. They're on top of their game. They're confident. They got their head straight. This person is content being single. They don't have to be in a relationship if they don't want to. And it looks like that there's love here. But yet, this new love here, you could be having, you could be, you could have found love with a Virgo. But you guys may not be talking. Either you guys are not talking or the person that you're dealing with, you're actually in love with a Virgo. Or this is a new love that's happened. But let's start clarifying. Let's find out what this is all about. Okay, my little crabs. Let's find out. Let's see. Let's see what the Ten of Cups is all about. Please get more information on the Ten of Cups. Please get more information on the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Please get more information on the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Please get more information on the Ten of Cups. Please get more information on the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Please get more information on the Ten of Cups. Please get more information on the Ten of Cups. Please get more information on the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Please get more information on the Ten of Cups. Please get more information on the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? 
<coughs> Excuse me. Okay, what we have here? Okay. Already. Well, I got the Five of Pentacles. Somebody's feeling left down the cold. The Page of Swords. You guys are not in reverse, so that means you guys are not communicating. I got the Six of Wands in reverse, so things need to be balanced here because things were not balanced. I got the Seven of Cups in reverse here. So whoever this person is, they no longer in La La Land at all because now this person wants to come rushing in towards you with this Knight of Wands here. So this person wants to come back. This person wants to come back from the cold, come in from the cold because you guys are not communicating. Nothing's taking place between the both of you guys. They're feeling left out and abandoned. Things were un things were not balanced between the both of you guys. There was not balanced and you guys already you guys know that things need to be balanced because at one point things could have been it could have seemed as it was one-sided and they recognize this they recognize that things need to be balanced this person is no longer in la la land if they were confused or they had options they no longer have options nor are they confused they already know that things need to be made right Things need to be an equal give and take, and this person wants to come in rushing because we do have the sun here. So this person, you may make this person feel happy. They may not make you happy because of the situation, but you make this person happy. Let's find out about the sun. Please get more information on the sun. Why is the sun here? Please get more information on the sun. Why is the sun here? Please get more information on the sun. Why is the sun here? Please get more information on the sun. Why is the sun here? Please give me more information on the sun. Please give me more information on the sun. Why is the sun here? Please give me more information on the sun. Please give me more information on the sun. Why is the sun here? Please give me more information on the sun. Why is the sun here? Please give me more information on the sun. Why is the sun here? Okay. What do we have here? The sun. Oh. Okay, so first card out, the Queen of Swords in reverse. So somebody here is pissed off. Somebody here is pissed off. Pissed off. Pissed off. Because the Queen of Swords in reverse, when she's upright, this is the type of queen you don't mess with. You just don't try this queen. You do not try her because she is cutthroat. Uh, she says it how it is. She don't sugarcoat anything for you. And when she's done, she's done. Okay, and when she communicates, it comes across kind of rude, kind of harsh. But you know what? She speaks the truth. And she's also a great communicator. And when she's in reverse, this woman's pissed off. She's fed up. She's done. This woman is fed up. She is done. She is done. And look at the Five of Cups right here in reverse. She is no longer, she's getting over this basically getting over this and we have the chariot here getting over it moving on and we have the empress here moving on wanting new beginnings wanting expansion wanting growth because this person wants to be happy whether it's you cancer that if i'm not picking up on your energy cancer i could be picking up on other person's energy okay i could be picking up on their energy so cancer if you need a flipping and by all means go right ahead and flip it flip it baby flip it Flip it like you're flipping some burgers, okay? Yes, and this also applies to the men, not just to the females, okay? So, whoever this person is, they want to be happy. This person, they're fed up. It's a wrap. I'm done. No more. I had it. I'm not doing this shit anymore. They're not doing it anymore. It's a wrap. They're moving on. They want expansion. They want growth. I got the seven. Let me hold on. I got the seven of wands in reverse here. This person is not fighting for this. They're not gonna fight for this connection anymore. Although I mean, somebody wants to come out from the call, but but somebody here is fed up. They're pissed off. They're done. They're moving on, and they want they want a new beginning, and that's what the empress represents here. The empress represents new beginnings, expansion, growth. Uh, the Empress represents everything that's beautiful. All that is beautiful, the Empress represents it. Okay? And that's exactly what this person wants to do. 
they want to move on and they want me so let's find out about the moon please get more information on 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 the moon some of you guys could be dealing with another cancer or uh, Libra as well please get more information on the moon 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 Please give more information on the moon. Why is this moon here? Please give more information on the moon. Why is this moon here? Please give more information on the moon. What do we got here? Okay, so. Oh, Lord. Cancer. Wow. So. The moon, clarifying the moon. I have the seven of swords. Somebody's lying. Somebody's not being somebody's not being honest with you. Either they're lying, they're cheating, they're being sneaky, they're self-sabotaging the relationship. Whatever it is, they're up to no good. They could be self-talking themselves out of it. Whatever. They're up to no good. Whoever this person is, they're up to no good. And what we have here, we have the nine of pentacles in reverse. So this person may not be in a and this person may not be single at all because the nine of pentacles is a single person. The nine of pentacles is somebody that is single that's on top of their game. Yes, that's abundant, that's content being single, that don't need nobody to take care of them because they're just fine. But in reverse, this is saying that this is somebody that is not single, and then we have the three of swords here. So, this is starting to come out to be a three-party situation, yeah. And then, look what we have here. The Two of Pentacles. Somebody here is juggling. And the Knight of Swords in reverse. So, no action is being taken here. So, this, for some of you guys, some of you guys don't know this. You guys, some of you guys don't know because you guys are not communicating with this person. You guys really don't know that this person actually has. This person is not single. They have somebody already. This is a three-part. This is a straight-up three-part situation. I mean, you got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. You got the Three of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. Somebody here is juggling because somebody here is not single. And then with the Seven of Swords, that's basically saying that somebody's lying. They're lying. And you probably don't know this, but maybe some of you guys already know this. Maybe that's the reason why the Queen of Swords is in reverse because... You already know this. You already know this and you're moving on and you're fed up already. You're done. Enough is enough. You're done with this shit. You're done putting up with it. You're already over this shit. You're done. And that's why you guys are just going right ahead and moving on. Let's find out about the Nine of Pentacles. Please give more information on the Nine of Pentacles. Please give more information on the Nine of Pentacles. Please give more information on the Nine of Pentacles. Please give more information on the Nine of Pentacles. Please give more information on the Nine of Pentacles. Please give more information on the Nine of Pentacles. Please give more information on the Nine of Pentacles. Please give more information on the Nine of Pentacles. Please give more information on the Nine of Pentacles. Please give more information on the Nine of Pentacles. Please give more information on the Nine of Pentacles. Please give more information on the Nine of Pentacles. Please give more information on the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, so you have, so you have somebody that is single and somebody that's not single. Because we have the four cups here. Somebody's feeling rejected or actually not even, I'm not even picking up rejected. I'm picking up that this person's just not interested. Not interested at all. Not rejected, they're just not interested and being with this person and they're leaving with the six of swords you're leaving somebody you're leaving you got the two of wands there and we got the fool here you're going right ahead and taking a leap of faith because you have somebody here that's content being single and it looks like an offer is being made but you're just not interested at all because this person that's making an offering they're already in a damn relationship and you're like fuck no Hell no. 
And you leaving all that shit behind. You leaving all that negative energy behind. You're leaving it behind because you don't need to be in a relationship. You ain't got to be in one. Because you're just fine not being in one. And then especially trying to be somebody's side piece. That ain't happening because this person is not single. This person is not single at all. And they could be making an offering to you. But you're just not interested at all. And being in a relationship with this person. So you're leaving. With the Six of Swords right here. You're leaving. You're you're taking excuse me. You're taking on a new path. You're taking on a new path, looking at new avenues, because we got the fool right here. You like fuck this shit. I'm out. <laughs> Let me That's exactly what you're doing. I mean you're just not interested. So let's find out about the Ace of Cups. Please get more information on the Ace of Cups. Please get more information on the Ace of Cups. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Aries as well. Please get more information on the Ace of Cups. Please get more information on the Ace of Cups. Please get more information on the Ace of Cups. Please get more information on the Ace of Cups. Please get more information on the Ace of Cups. Please get more information on the Ace of Cups. Please get more information on the Ace of Cups. Please get more information on the Ace of Cups. Please get more information on the Ace of Cups. Please get more information on the Ace of Cups. Please get more information on 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 the Ace of Cups. Please get more information on the Ace of Cups. Please get more information on the Ace of Cups. Please get more information on Ace of Cups. Okay, so the Ace of Cups. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at this. The Ace of Cups. We got the Wheel of Fortune. So some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, or a Scorpio. So things are turning around for you. Things are starting to turn around. And it's turning around in your favor because we got the Magician here. So you're manifesting this. You're manifesting a new love. You're manifesting a new love. We have the Knight of Pentacles here coming in. Somebody's coming in slowly, slowly but surely. They're coming in, making the offering. And keep in mind, this is the slowest night out of the deck, but he's the one that's going to actually stay around. He's the one that's, you know, yeah, you're going to have to call him an Uber because he's slow as fuck, but he's the one that's going to stick around. He's the one that's going to be there for the long haul. He's the one that ain't going to be going nowhere. And if he does decide to leave, it's going to take him forever just to leave. Because he's the, the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles, sooner or later, turns into the King of Pentacles. And this is stability. This is a, this means stability. This means, um, you know, a person that has, you know, something to offer. So something that steps down. Um, I can't get the word out. Somebody that has actually something to offer you. They're bringing something to the table. They're just not coming in with their good looks and all that shit. No. This person is actually bringing something to the table. Okay. And we have the Five of Swords in reverse. So there's no mind games here going. There's no mind games going on. This person here. They're coming back. With the Five of Swords here, it could be with their, this person's coming back towards you. I doubt it if this is a new person. It could be somebody from your other, from a, a past, past person that's coming in. And we got the Ten of Pentacles upright. And this person's trying to make amends now. This person's trying to make amends. And they want the Ten of Cups because they want stability now. Now they're coming in offering you stability. So, for some of you guys... This is a new love. And you're making amends here with somebody. And is well, if you actually think about it, you guys were never really in a relationship with this person at all. Because they was already with somebody. And they came to you claiming that you was with, that they were single, but they really wasn't. And for some of you guys, some of you guys found out and you were like, fuck that shit. And you moved on. 
but then they trying to make you an offer wanting to have you as a side piece of course you rejected them because you ain't trying to come in you know you ain't trying to come in second yo you got to come in first so you moved on so now it could be where this person is actually coming back and they want to fix things with you they want to make amends with you they will actually want to have stability here with you they want a stable connection and they're making an offering so in this situation it would be a new love because you guys were never really in a relationship for some of you guys it will be like this for some of you guys it, this would be a new love someone new is coming into your life Someone new is coming into your life. You have manifested this person. They're coming in slow as fuck, but they're coming. Okay? So, that's good, Cancer. For those of you guys that are done with the past, that don't want shit to do with it, you're right here, the Queen of Swords. You're like, you're fed up. You're done. Uh, you got somebody new coming in here. So you got somebody new coming in here, making an offer. And let's find out about this hermit. Please give me more information on the 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 hermit. Why is the hermit here? Please give me more information on the hermit. 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 Please get 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 more information. There we go. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, so we have temperance here. Healing is needed. Healing is definitely needed. Because whoever this person is, you guys are going within in search of answers because healing is also needed. Balance and healing is needed here by the both of you guys. Not just one, both of you guys need healing. And somebody's going within here in search of answers and healing because this person actually wants to reunite. With the Three of Cups, this person wants to reunite with you. I mean, you guys are not talking. Which way is it? Hold on. Yeah. No. Hold on. Right here. Like this. So four swords in reverse. This person wants to talk. They come because this person could have been praying, meditating, doing some self-reflecting, which is a hermit right there. And, of course, temperance as well. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Sagittarius as well. And now this person wants to reunite with you and they want to talk. Because look, we have the Six of Cups here. This person thinks about you. They're reminiscing about you. They're constantly thinking about you. Why? Because they're unhappy. I got the six of, I got the Nine of Cups in reverse. They're not emotionally satisfied. They're not emotionally fulfilling. They want to be happy. They want to be emotionally fulfilled. And they're not. And this person wants to come towards you. They want to come towards you, they want to reunite, they want to reconcile, and they want to be happy. But this is going to take patience. You're going to need to have patience for this. For those of you guys that decide to take this person back, you're going to need patience. Patience is going to be required here, and I know you guys ran out of patience a long time ago. But this is I'm just relating what the card saying. Patience and healing is needed here. Patience and healing is needed here. So, they want to come back. And for some of you guys, this is a new person. For some of you guys, this is the same person that's coming back. The same person is coming back. They're coming back because they want to be with you. They want to reunite. But you know what? Kansas is your decision. This is a free will. Free will, whether you guys, you guys decide to take this person back. You already know the deal with this person. This person's lie, talking about they were single when they really wasn't. And then trying and then wanting to be making offerings to you. Knowing that their ass is not even single. 
but now the like I said, free will, baby. This is free will. Free will. You guys either could keep it moving, like you want to do here. Keep it moving. You guys could keep it moving here. And get your to get your new beginning, or you can give this person a second chance. It's up to you. Okay. Let's get your guidance message. Please give me a guidance message for cancer. 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 Archangel Raphael. Raphael helps you heal in mind, body, and spirit. Okay, so this is all I have for you guys. I will see you guys again. You guys take care. Be safe. And uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And also don't forget to wash your hands. And while you're at it, wash that ass. Okay, Kansas. And Kansas, stay cool. Bye.